So, where we left off, I got a I got a new tripod that should hopefully help in this recording. And uh, yeah, I got these painted up. Not complete yet. I got to do some touch-up work, but just getting the blue on there. Kind of looks kind of cool with the kind of spray from the zenithal top coating there, primer. But anyway, we're going to add some stuff as we go to clean things up. That one's got to get painted white. Yeah. Gun needs to be painted. I guess it's a bolter. Something like that the leg here. Boy, that looks really splotchy. That's going to need a little more paint. Yeah. A little more blue on that rascal. This dude's craniums. Need a little touch up. But so far we're just going along. I think we're going to try and do this uh, breastplate today. Use a little gold, blue and black have to see what kind of combo of colors would look good so we'll get there took them off the base hopefully uh, be able to get some paint on this after we do that breastplate so set that dude aside this one looks like it'll be fun to hold on to I don't know if my clip will be good for this kinda doubt it yeah it's gonna go flying across the room I mean that's kinda secure but I'm gonna have to deal with the, the sides a little bit here notice there's a skull in the middle here right so should that be white? <laughs> I don't know everybody always paints a this gold, which is uh, Baltazar gold. So that's what I'm doing, came with the kit. And I'm just hoping to get in the right areas, not overpaint. So there's like a, a line that runs across the top that looks like it's part of the raised section. It's actually the top of the, I think it's the top of this wing. So I guess I'll just paint that as well. Keeping that paint paint thin. Keeping a good point. Goodness. That was a little thicker than I wanted on the paint. This is the type of stuff that you might need magnifying glass. This side looks pretty decent. Maybe a I guess I'll just paint that skull gold. You know, it's probably why everyone does it. Because it's part of the way it is. Oh, heavy. 
heavens. Goodness sakes, that was a lot of paint. Let's see if I can push that around. <laughs> Let's take a look at our little release button here. It's looking at the box, just have it blue, which looks pretty, pretty lame. Kind of picture this like a quick, quick release button, right? Yeah. Or clip. Well, it's gold. All right, I'm gonna do. Uh, black and then I'll go back blue to try and touch up those little overpainted areas. That'll be a treat, but I don't know if you're like me, but if you have those kind of things, you're always going to see them and it's going to annoy you. Even if no one else does, knows it's there, you will. So it's going to just nag at your brain. Not everybody's that way, I get it. I've seen some people use the handle to scoop up their paint. I don't know benefit or not. Maybe you prevent getting the brush in there too far. God. Is that common? <laughs> Leaking out the back there? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's kind of frustration. So Abaddon Black coming at you. We're gonna do that waist area. Ooh, and maybe I can get those little vents on the sides. I don't know if this brush is fine enough. I pluck out an eyelash. So I think, looking at this closely, maybe there's two segments to that abdominal area and then I'll do the sides and the corvus. It's probably one of those things that they're like, oh, that's what the wash is for, null oil or something. Get our McCrag blue. McCrag. McCrag. Mac rag. Blue. Yep. Not sure how I feel about this uh, 
using the handle to transfer the paint. I mean, you're just getting a bunch of paint everywhere anyhow. Here, try to get a nice point. Fix this little gold. Like I'm playing Operation, the Wacky Doctor game. Hmm. Not too shabby. Kind of looks decent. I'll just do that Corvus Black and call it good. Corvus Black. It's cool. It's black with a like a ashy gray tone. So it's not like uh, very black. It's like black gray, which I think is neat. It reminds me of like old rubber pipes and tubes and stuff like that. So that's kind of where I'm of the mindset of using it is anything that looks like old rubber, especially if it's a pipe or a tube. Yeah. I'm not going to bother with using the handle technique. Seems a bit much. These aren't like superb brushes, you know. I think that's one of the issues people have is they don't want to jab their, you know, $40 brush or whatever. Nothing to it but to do it. Well, looks like kind of wet. Let's see if I can wake up any of that. Don't forget that neck area. I already just slobbered it all over. I'm gonna have to make a pseudo neckline. Oh god. Terrible. That's a great fun. I think I still got some fresh blue. Repair that.
Good. I think it's dry enough now. I'm just gonna. Look at that once over. Where the clip was. That's high quality imaging. Yeah, that's too zoomed for this phone at least. That's a better way to go right there. Cool, you can see, I don't know if you can make out the differences in the black, but I did try to paint those air vents. Looks kind of cool. That was fun. All right, we're gonna bring up the last big piece, and that's gonna be the big challenge for us. I mean, these were tedious, of course. But next we got the body proper. So that's gonna be a lot of work for us. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break here. Thanks.